He who finds a wife finds a good thing. That's one verse taken out of context. But if we would consider the totality of Scripture, or simply the verses around which this single verse is framed, then I think it's fair to say, he who finds a godly wife finds a good thing. In other words, he who finds a patient and compassionate wife, empathetic, kind, considerate, caring, loving, faithful, honest, truthful, and respectful wife, finds a good thing. So why do I want to get married? Well, truth is, I've been married twice already. My first marriage lasted for eight years. My second, barely eight weeks before it began to unravel. An emotionally painful ordeal that I'm still trying to process. So, after having been married twice, why in the world would I want to get married again? <laughs> That's a fair question. And certainly not because I have a high tolerance for pain, <laughs> although I do. Now, And while my narrative is complex, the answer to that question is relatively simple. I want to get married to Sanyika because he who finds a godly wife finds a good thing. The first email that I initiated and sent to him seemed not to go directly to his online uh, profile and instead went to his email box, which um, actually didn't get responded to for about a month and 12 days after I sent it. Um, but also that was at a time when I had completely just said, you know what, God, I'm kind of done. Um, I had gotten to the end of my rope. I was tired of dating online and offline and particularly trying to figure things out. And by the time I actually got <laughs> a response from Sam, I was actually uh, back in California. I had to go back for a trip. And so our first phone conversation actually wasn't until about a week after um, he reached out to me in response to my message. And um, we started just by texting, sharing our stories, and we did a pretty deep dive pretty soon. I think um, actually in, in, in future conversations, we both learned that we were both tired of the whole process and we wanted to, I don't know, kick the tires as quickly as possible, really find out if the other was genuine and true and worth putting the time, effort, and energy into. Um, the first reason that I want to get married is because it's it's what God desires. I mean, we are wired to be in union. We are wired to be together and we're better together. So I want to get married because I know that I get to be my best self when I am partnered with, coupled with, working with someone who is also sold out, S-O-U-L-D, for God. Yeah. So I was married for almost 18 years and when I got married the first time um, I was not walking with God. Although I had a relationship with God since eight years old, I dedicated my life to Jesus Christ. And so I went into my marriage, my first marriage, with the full intention of being married for life. That was a commitment that I was serious about, intentional about. No one in my family up until that point had had a, other than my grandmother's, um, had had marriages that lasted a lifetime. And that was something that was very important for me, something that um, I communicated with my husband at the time, now my ex-husband, and we both made the commitment to. Um, unfortunately, we could not agree on the definition of fidelity, 
um, and we could not agree on what the primary problem was in our marriage. And ultimately, you cannot fix a problem that you can't define correctly. And so that led to my divorce, which was incredibly heartbreaking for me. I, um, I went through a four-year period where I was committed to being what I called success, successfully single. Um, after I got divorced at 41 years old, I um, took just some real deep time to spend with God, to spend with myself, to identify what I wanted to be intentional about in my next marriage. I knew even exiting that marriage that God's original design for relationship and his most, um, the best way that he represents his love for us is through the covenant of marriage. And so I knew that I wanted to be married again. I just got to decide and define and work with God on those areas that I needed to be clear about um, so that when I did meet the next person that I would marry, um, it would be final and forever. It would be for life. So Sam and I actually met online in September 2020 and in December 2020 we were engaged and in February 2021 we will be married. So yeah, less than six months. Um, so here's the reality. I have been single for six years and when I got divorced I definitely knew that I wanted to remarry but not immediately. It was important for me to take a journey with God. Um, I was married my entire adult life from 23 to 41. So when I got divorced, um, I really took some time to process what went wrong, what was my responsibility, how I could um, ensure to the best of my ability that my marriage to my next partner would be a final and forever. And so when Sam and I met and we began the journey together. We intersected at a time in both of our lives where we definitely knew we were tired of dating. Both of us, I'll speak for me, I left our first date, which by the way, was supposed to be a 90 minute meet for coffee and turned into a nine, a nine hour, a nine hour date. And it was really great. But I prayed and I thought and I pondered and I asked God in the car ride home, please let this be my first last date or my last first date started it please let this be my last first date i knew that i was intentional about dating with the intention of marriage not rushing into anything but knowing and believing that when i met the person who my heart was meant to be shared with that i would know it not that i would know it in my own knowing but I know how the Holy Spirit speaks to me. And so some people might think, wow, Sanika, why so soon? You haven't known Samuel a year, six months. And what I know for sure is I know God and I know the way the Holy Spirit speaks to me and I know the intention of my heart. And I know as Samuel and I did a really deep dive pretty quickly, we got through a lot of the things that many couples as they're journeying through their dating process, it takes them a while to unpack. I think that because of the maturity, not only in our age, but where we were in the dating process, we were able to cut through a lot of the barriers that sometimes keep couples from moving to a place of commitment. Also, I knew that if the person that I was dating wasn't a Christ follower, I mean sold out for Jesus, that that couldn't be somebody that I even entertained the idea of dating any, for any long period of time, let alone marriage. So we came to an agreement very early on, let's date exclusively. And within a month of our exclusive dating, we were engaged. And we walk through the process. Yes, we have gone through marriage counseling. Yes, Samuel has been vetted by my friends and family and I have his as well. But ultimately what we are endeavoring to do in this marriage is to walk together through life. We are both perfectly imperfect people. We are going to push each other's buttons and challenge each other in ways that whether we were dating and testing it out and trying it out or whether we're connected in the covenant of committed marriage, 
we're doing that and we're doing that journey um, with an understanding that it's each for the other and both for God and because he's in the midst and he's in the mix we're believing that this is final and forever <laughs> okay are we done we're done all right hey. <sighs>